Hey, welcome back. Well, we finished in Hydrocene last week, and now we are Bureau's out busy harrowing, doing the last of the field work. So, doing that before winter flies and getting some stuff put away for winter. Winter comes. Uh, change of plans a little bit. I dropped off our semi or freelander to get safety this morning, and now I'm actually going to come up and deep till we get that 80, 80 acres left uh, that we had worked with that the Versal Fury, and we're going to put that field into beans next year. So we're going to give it cultivate it one more time just to see if we can uh, up level it off and get it. Uh, get as nice of a uh, seedbed as possible for next year. The Fury does more, did more of a uh, cutting it up, turning it over, breaking through that hard pan, and now the cultivator can do more of a leveling job. In our heavier dirt, it's important to get the ground as smooth as we can because we don't want to make a pass in spring uh, on it. Because if we do, it tends to dry it out real bad and then we have a lot of issues uh, with germination and that thing. Not saying that it never happens, um, but we will do absolutely everything we can to get everything leveled off in a nice seed bed for spring, uh, just so that we do not. Our sandy soil is very different and it's very forgiving. We will often do multiple passes, well one, or up to even two passes in spring and not really worry about it. Just different kind of dirt, so we have different kind of rules. Well, I'm a couple hundred feet away here from being done cultivating for the year. And I'm gonna rip this thing back to my place and park it out in the field and start putting some things away. All right, this is where number one goes down. I'll have to go grab that other one. electrical to lower it down a little bit They're watching me making sure I'm doing a good job Pull pin. All right, we got the quad track home. Now I'm gonna take the grain cart. We always park the grain cart in another yard where uh, we're, we don't use during the winter. So we got shed space there and we park the, the equipment there that we don't have to go over during the winter. So I'm gonna take the grain cart there and park that and pick up the other deep tiller and go put it where the other one is.
Eh, let's check to see how much corn and stuff is still in here, whether they cleaned it out. No, they sure didn't. So I'm gonna take it out to where our cows are gonna be. And then I'll dump it there and they can at least eat that then. Clean her out so it don't rust or mold. Hey, right, open this shirt up. Rotten green out of here. Some of this corn is still pretty good, but yeah, cows can enjoy it too. There ain't that much. All right. I gotta back the grain cart into that corner right there. It's always nicer if I had another person to help me out with this, but uh, see if I can figure it out. get it a lot closer than that but I got a few obstacles around here and we're good so I know what else needs to go in this shed and I think we'll be fine just the way it is unhook it hook on to the other deep tiller that's over there and go park it right on well we got the grain cart all put away cleaned up Got all the garbage out of it. Not too many years we have it where we can uh, put the grain cart away and not have to pressure wash the mud off of it or uh, it being dirty or being being dirty of uh, some sorts. But there was just a little bit of rotten grain in the bottom that was easy to clean out and she's put away. So I got this cultivator to put away and that is just about it for the day. Oh, cultivators all put away. These are all our yearlings. The majority of them are ours. Some of them are still our neighbors. And uh, we're gonna ship a couple of them out next week, probably, or the week after. Get rid of some steers. Now we got some more time, but we'll keep a lot of the heifers for a little while yet, so. Well, that's a wrap. We are, uh, I'm done for the day. I got kids playing hockey, so we got the cultivators put away, got the grain cart put away, got it cleaned up. Daryl's still hammering off some uh, acres with harrowing. By the looks of the forecast, we should have a lot of our fields in very good shape for next year. So uh, that is not always the case. Not when, uh, not being able to do it when it's sunny out and uh, when it's sunny out and not snowy, miserable or cold. Normally one of those is going on, so. Very thankful for the weather we've been given. Uh, a little bit of rain will be nice for next year, but our top top 12 uh, inches is uh, pretty, got some good moisture there. So slowly getting stuff put away for winter. Then we're gonna get into the cattle. I gotta get stuff set up for them. We gotta we'll be running them uh, to another spot. Uh, we're doing a lot more running them down the road than we normally do just because of uh, how dry the pastures were. So we're doing, uh, we'll be doing that later on. And yeah, 
Hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and uh, su subscribe. Thanks. Well, that's going to mark the end of the day. We're getting low on diesel fuel, and to be honest, I just don't feel like starting another field. So um, that's it. I think we did 600 acres today, and it's been a good day, a relaxing day. But we're getting the stuff done. These fields are done for the year.